What are deacons and what exactly do they do? Today on Made for Glory. We first hear about deacons in chapter 6 of the Acts of the Apostles, when the apostles who were ministering to the newly formed church, uh, Jesus has just ascended back to the Father, he's poured out his Holy Spirit upon them, and more and more converts are coming, and they choose seven reputable men, seven men who were followers of Jesus, who were disciples of Jesus, to take on this special ministry of service called the diaconate. And that, that very word, deacon, comes from the word to serve, to be a servant of others. So what deacons were called to do from the very earliest days of the church is to embody the the love of Christ as service to the church and to the world. And so classically throughout the history of the church, deacons have been those who have really been on the forefront of serving other people, of of serving the poor, of taking care of of when the church is taking collections to bring to people. Usually in the early church, the deacons would be the ones that would bring that collection and help the poor with it. And so that's really been throughout throughout the history of the church. It's also one of the steps of ordination. So there's three kind of um, main pillars of ordination of, of in, the, in what we call holy orders. We have the diaconate, we have the priesthood, which I participate in that, I'm a priest, and then being a bishop, the episcopacy. So deacons, priests, and bishops. And as early as the beginning of the first century, we have accounts where those three ranks of orders were in place and were the norm, normative aspect of the church, where you would come to a church and there would be, there would be the presbyters or the priests, there would be deacons. There would also be a bishop who was in charge of a regional area of the church. Recently, in the 1960s, at the Second Vatican Council, a big council of the Catholic Church, they reinstituted something that, that's kind of popularly known as the permanent diaconate. Because usually, uh, deacons are men who have been ordained deacons and are getting ready to be ordained priests. And so they, they reinstituted this order of men who aren't going to become priests, but they stay permanently in the state of of service as deacons in service to the church. So maybe you've been to mass recently and you saw a man standing next to uh, the priest during mass, helping him out at the altar, maybe proclaiming the gospel. And there's a lot of great things that deacons can do as part of their service, as part of their consecration, their ordination. Uh, They can preach at mass, which is a beautiful expression of that. Um, They can baptize babies. They can officiate weddings and uh, really help the church to be embodied and to be focused on the poor, on those who uh, feel maybe be far away from God, maybe those who are struggling in life, and really uh, deacons are called to be that arm of service in the church. So the role of deacons is, is has developed throughout the years, but it's always rooted in the person of Jesus and trying to be closer to Jesus Christ. So if you see a deacon at Mass, make sure you thank them for their service and their witness to us of how all of us are called to draw closer to Jesus and to be servants of the poor. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video and for joining us each week as we release new Made for Glories that help to answer the questions that people have about God and faith and life and church. And if you want to help support us, please make sure you click that like button, make sure you share it with your friends, and also to click the link in the description um, that will make you a part of our mailing list so that we can keep you informed about what we're doing each week and also send you content um, so that you can receive it even before the rest of the internet gets it. So God bless you and have a great day.